In this InDesign tutorial, I wanna talk about how you're gonna deal with the quote unquote real world of printing. When you have to do a press check from a printing press. Now most of you doing this are gonna be just working in computer labs. I think most of you haven't even stepped foot in a print shop, which is kind of a shame. But um, you know, when you go to print 10,000, 20,000 copies of a magazine, you better make sure every page is looking perfect. And that requires proof checks. Somebody needs to proof that, make sure it's good, and more importantly, sign off on it because they're the responsible party. Well, in order to do that, you need sign off information. And that information that lies outside your pages is called slug information. I don't know why it's called slug, but it is. So I'm gonna go to file and open. And right here in chapter 10, folder four, slug info box. So I have designed a little uh, box for sign offs. The name of the client, the name of the job, who approved that page, and what date they approved it, okay? So I'll close this up. I just designed a little InDesign label there. Now I'm ready to start working on my magazine. So I'm gonna to go to File, New Document, and we're gonna keep it on print, eight and a half by 11, but the number of pages we want is 100. Okay, want facing pages, like when you open a magazine, the left page faces the right page. And we'll start on page one, and let's come down here. I'm gonna set my margins to 0.25. And notice, if I'm doing a magazine, I also want to indicate a bleed. A bleed is if I want artwork to print all the way to the edge of the page, you actually go past the edge of the page. Most printers would suggest a quarter inch bleed. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow, go the quarter inch. But beyond that, you don't just, when you do a proof check, you don't just cut the page right there. You print it on larger sheets so people can write notes and whatever. And that's all that information around your printout is your slug information. And I really don't need sign off information on the bottom and the outside and the inside of my layouts. I just need it on the top. So I'm gonna make sure this chain is broken. That way I can apply information or values to only one field. And right here at the top, I'm gonna to type 1.25, one and a quarter inches of extra space. So I'll click create. And I'm gonna hit command and minus just to zoom out there. And I'll zoom in a little bit, there we go. So now I've got a typical spread. You know, they just occur over and over and over. So here is my margin guides right here, quarter of an inch. The black edge is where the printer would eventually cut the sheet of paper. The black edge right here is where the magazine would fold. So we have a quarter of an inch on the inside where it folds, quarter of an inch here. We also have a red guide for our bleed. So if I want any photo or artwork to print all the way to the edge of the page, I would go past the edge of the page, about a quarter of an inch out. And we have our slug information. So how can I tell what color means what? I go to InDesign, Preferences, Guides, and right there. Margins are indicated by magenta. Columns, which are always vertical, are indicated by violet. Bleed areas are indicated by the red bar. Slug areas are indicated by the blue bar. So there you go. Okay, so now I have my document here and I wanna make sure that I have my slug information. Okay, the problem is I've got a hundred pages here. I don't want to put it here and here and then here and here and here and here. I want my slug information on every page. So what I have to do is go to file and open. And I'm going to open up that slug information box that I designed. 
okay these were all separate little elements so you can see there's a dashed line i have grouped all these elements together edit copy and now i can throw that out don't need that file anymore and here right up here i'll go to edit paste and now i'll put that right up there and darn I don't have enough room and I, I don't see it anywhere else okay so that's gonna be bad so what I need first is a little bit more slug space so I'll go to file document setup and right down here bleed and slug I just didn't estimate the right amount of space so instead of one and a quarter inches I'll type two inches Let's turn on the preview. There we go. Now I have plenty of room for that slug. I'll click OK. All right, slug information's there. But again, I don't see it anywhere else. So what I have to do is select this bar, go to Edit, and cut it off that page. I don't need it there. I need it on my master pages. I'm going to double click because remember, anything I put on these two, it says A. It'll appear on every page that has an A on it. So I'm going to double click here, edit and paste my slug back in. We'll put one, let's just grab it here. We'll put one slug above the left page, shift key and option key, and we'll put one slug above the right page. Now, instead of having the client have to write this information every single time on every single page, let's just delete that one and fill out this information right here. So I'm going to click, ungroup it, and now let's just click on a text frame. I'll pull that across so we have more room to type. Maybe bump that up a little bit. There we go. And now I can just click right here inside the text frame and say client is Nielsen Computer Tutorials. All right, that's the name of the client. The job name, we'll bump that up a little bit. And let's move this bar over. And the job name is, click, add a couple of spaces there. Um, an introduction to InDesign. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, that's the name of my book. An introduction to InDesign. Approved by and date. We'll just bump those up a little bit. I don't need information there because I'm going to hand sign that information. Okay, that looks good. Now I can take my black arrow, select all that slug information, hold shift and option. And now when I pick a random page, let's say page eight, I have all my slug information. But keep in mind, like I've shown you plenty of times before, if you hit W for preview, this is what you would get from the printer when the whole printing job is done. They take like a big guillotine and just slice off the bleed information, slice off the bleed from the sides and the bottom. All the information outside the edges of this black edge, you wouldn't see in the final printout anyway. So it's kind of hidden. But I want to make sure when we do our press check, we can see this information. So what I'm going to do is when I go to file and print in the future, People will usually just print out their pages. They'll just click print and be done with it. But what you got to keep in mind is for a press check, you go to marks and bleeds. In addition to printing to the edge of the page, I want to show all the printer marks. Crop marks at the edges of the corners. That's where the printer would cut. I want to show bleed marks at the quarter inch. I want to show registration marks so all the inks line up. And even more important, include my slug area. So there you can see it in the preview. It's going to print my page. Oops, there you go. 
plus all the extra slug information here. Okay, marks and bleeds, I need the slug. So I'll just click uh, cancel for there. But that's how you would do it. Marks and bleeds, print out all your marks, print out your slug area. And then when you go to the printer, you will not only get your page, but you will get all this extra information there. So as you sit there with a stack of papers or the art director or the publisher, they're gonna look approved. Yeah, they're gonna sign that off and date it. They're gonna look at all the pictures, make sure all the colors work well, make sure there's no typos or anything. They go, yep, I approve that page. And that's the boring part because you gotta go through it page by page. So they don't do it right there on the spot. They usually take this home, but that's a hard copy proof. So if we ever went to print and then the publisher said, hey, uh, printer, you screwed this up, they can hand them the page and go, really? Because that looks like your signature, dude. No, we did it right. You approved it. We didn't screw up. If anything, you screwed up because you approved that job. So that's what a slug is for, approval information. And that's how you do it in the quote unquote real world here in InDesign.